Hello Exosomes Amigos and Bartonella Buddies. I've now done nine Exosomes infusions over the course of around nine months and I wanted to give you a global picture of how I'm feeling about Exosomes therapy. I also went back and watched all my previous videos to sort of refresh my memory and boy am I annoying! <laughs> I'm going to address some things I said in them that I've either changed my mind about or that I feel I need to make any corrections about. I'm going to leave a playlist to all my Exosomes videos in the video description box below if you want to watch them in case you're not up to speed on any of them. The absolute first thing I want to address is the amount of infusions that I have received, especially in that amount of time. This, for whatever reason, seems to raise many eyebrows. Hmm. Hmm. Someone commented, I've never heard of someone getting so many Exosomes infusions before. I don't know anyone that owns a Birkin or a Bugatti, but that doesn't mean there aren't people in this world who own Birkins or Bugattis. At least I don't think I know anyone who owns a Birkin or a Bugatti. If I do know someone who owns a Birkin or a Bugatti and you're watching right now, please consider donating to the Bartonella Project in the video description box down below. I also had someone comment this long comment full of assumptions about my case and inane commentary, but without going into all of that, they did write, subtle hint, maybe there might be a financial interest you want to watch out for. Subtle hint, maybe if you watched like one or two of my videos, you would realize that I'm not some chump that needs paternalistic advice. And then someone else commented below, seems almost obsessive. You're right, I'm an exosomes junkie. Wow, I'm salty today. A little bit. Thank God for the editing process. You don't want to see me unfiltered. Or rather, maybe I don't want you to see me unfiltered. Joking aside, my practitioner, who I don't always see eye to eye with, did warn me that I would need infusions every four to six weeks for my condition. He is a person that understands my case better than anyone who may leave a comment. He also set very realistic expectations about exosomes and my experience has really lined up with those expectations and when does that ever happen with a complicated chronic illness? Here are some things he said that ended up being true. Number one, the side effects are relatively minimal and transient. I did a whole video on the side effects of exosomes so I'll put that in the video description box. Number two, Exosomes aren't very immunogenic, aka they're not very immune stimulating. Number three, they have potent anti-inflammatory effects that come on between one to seven days post-infusion. Number four, there are delayed effects that come on about three to four months post-infusion, which also means that as you do repeated dosaging over time, you have cumulative benefit. Number five, energy improvement. I didn't need that, but here I am ranting at you. So now I would like to amend that in my most recent video about exosomes, which I filmed after my seventh infusion, I said I was stopping exosomes because I thought they were making my mast cell activation syndrome worse. I no longer believe that to be the case or else I wouldn't have gotten infusions number eight and nine, obviously. I now think that most, if not the vast majority, if not all, of my nosedive in my mass activation syndrome was due to hydrogen sulfide SIBO. I have a couple of videos on that on well, so I'll leave those in the video description box. I initially attributed my decline to exosomes therapy because I had nothing else to attribute it to. The test for hydrogen sulfide SIBO, it's the only one that's on the market currently, came out only at the end of 2020. Now that I've begun treatment for that, I've brought myself off from a very, very scary ledge and I have hope that I haven't had in a really long time. Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. So here's my thinking as of now and of course this may change down the road. In my previous video, I listed six reasons why I thought the exosomes were making my MCAS worse. Progressively worse bloating, an excitatory effect on my nerves, hormone changes that negatively affect MCAS, new types of reactions, the seventh infusion did not really touch my pain as much, and, <laughs> and mast cell mediated fevers. Out of those six, the only ones that I think still apply to exosomes in terms of MCAS are the excitatory effect on my nerves, the hormone changes, and the mast cell mediated fevers. I attribute the progressively worse bloating and the new types of reactions to the hydrogen sulfide SIBO. As far as the seventh infusion not really touching my pain, I actually went another seven weeks without getting another infusion. When I first started getting exosomes infusion, I could only go three weeks between infusions with maintaining that level of lessened pain. Pained? 
lessened pain, so now I can go double that amount of time. All in all, exosomes have been an absolute godsend for my pain and inflammation. When I first started my YouTube channel, I had a friend edit my videos for me, and as you can imagine, editing involves a lot of clicking and a lot of typing. When I first got sick, my hands were in such bad shape that I couldn't even use my phone to text my friends to even set up a phone date with them. My mom had to do that for me. That amount of pain was gargantuan, and so was the emotional pain that came with it. Not to mention frustrating, gargantuanly frustrating. It's gargantuanly, and, and, I'm Bartonella babe, not grammar gal. Now I can edit my own videos and I can mostly type my own scripts, although sometimes I do use Dragon voice to text software. I can sit in bed and lean against pillows without getting pain across the top of my back that radiates down my arms, into my elbows, into my forehands, forehands, elbows, into my forearms, into my wrist, into my hands, into my fingers. That was excruciating. I can lay my head down on a pillow without it being too much pressure. My head on a pillow was too much pressure. It almost makes me want to cry for myself because now that the exosomes have reduced some of that pain, I realize how dire it was. I can't believe I lived that way for so long. Don't make me cry. Okay, well, don't make me cry. Snap out of it. You snap out of it. <laughs> oh, we're scared of that. My mom's a therapist. That's how she deals with my illness. She goes, snap out of it. That's what she says to her patients, right? Don't you say that? Every time. Snap out of it. Every time. Uh, Marital problems? Snap out of it. So Anxious? Snap out of it. I still have a really long way to go, but being able to work on Bartonella Babe in the capacity that I am able to do now has been such a morale boost. If I was a doctor and if exosomes were cheaper, I would want almost any patient with almost any kind of chronic inflammation to be able to give them a go. In college, we would joke that there's this triangle of sleep, getting good grades, and partying, and you can only have two sides of the triangle. You can never have all three. So if you wanna party and get good grades, well, then you won't be doing much sleeping. If you wanna party and sleep, well, then you won't be getting good grades. And if you wanna sleep and get good grades, well, then you're a freaking nerd. Guess in the comments down below which one I was. All three, baby! Ripped my favorite party dress. Warrants out from my arrest. Think I need a ginger ale. That was such an epic fail. Yeah, we danced on tabletops and we took too many shots. Think we kissed, but I forgot last Friday night. Yeah, I think we broke the law. Always say we're gonna stop up below this Friday night. Do it all again. That's such a joke. Haven't had alcohol in two years. So with therapies with my chronic illness, my triangle is affordable, powerful, and minimal side effects. Some of the options that I was looking at before doing exosomes included rituximab and steroids. Rituximab is powerful, but it can be insanely expensive or cheap, depending on your insurance, and it has some pretty nasty side effects. Steroids can be pretty powerful and cheap, but there are scary side effects. Exosomes are very powerful, there are minimal side effects, but they're definitely not cheap. In a previous video, I did say that exosomes are cheaper than stem cells, and that's still true if you consider one exosomes infusion versus going to Panama to get a stem cell treatment, but if you start doing exosomes infusions as frequently as I have, well, they really start to add up. People are like, how are you paying for all these exosomes? First of all, nanya, nanya business. Second of all, I'm paying for them with the money that I make through my OnlyFans account. I'll put a link to that in the video description box as well. Just kidding, made you look. <laughs> but in all reality, if I had started exosomes earlier, it probably would have saved me money and it sure as hell would have saved me soul-crushing disability. I think some people watching this video might make the criticism that I'm not getting the best exosomes brand and I've now tried two different brands of exosomes and one of them was a very well-known brand and I don't feel anything significantly different between the two brands in terms of their immediate anti-inflammatory effects. Anyone telling you that this brand is better than that brand because there are more exosomes or the exosomes are cleaner or each exosome contains more different growth factors is merely spewing marketing talking points at you. Unless they do a clinical trial, 
ideally with a placebo control group, with a very well-defined sample of patients comparing two different exosomes brands, we're not gonna know which one's best. And even then, you're only gonna know which one's best for that specific well-defined patient sample. Boom! Everyone loves a miracle story. I know someone who got one infusion of XYZ exosomes brand and he went from a wheelchair to walking in just three months. Everyone should be suspicious of a miracle story. More often than not, the severity of one's illness correlates with how much money they have to spend, how severe of the drugs that they have to take, or heavy duty, I should say, and how long it takes for them to get better. I have a chronic, ongoing source of inflammation in the form of a Bartonella infection that has dysregulated my immune system and made my mast cell activation syndrome so bad and made me prone to SIBO to the point where my body only wants to accept five foods. I can definitely think of illnesses or injuries in which monthly infusions are not necessary or appropriate, but that is not my situation. Another thing is people are oftentimes very bad at figuring out in their chronic illness what is helping them and what is hurting them. I once had a person tell me that they put their MS into remission through a clean diet. In the next breath, they told me that they were on a pharmaceutical injectable that they inject into the fat in their stomach subcutaneously three times a week. That doesn't mean that diet alone can't be miraculous for some people or that pharmaceuticals are always needed. It just means that we really need to think critically about anecdotal information. So if someone says that they had one exosomes infusion and six months later their severe MCAS was completely gone, that could be the placebo effect, it could be them wrongly attributing the gain in their health to exosomes, or it could be a miracle. And you have to ask yourself, how often do miracles really happen? My story isn't a miracle story, but rather a strong endorsement of the ability of exosomes to provide me with significant pain relief and a decrease in inflammation with minimal side effects. It is a story that I am immensely grateful for, and it is a story that is not yet over. So to stay updated with my story, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and here are my social media handles so you can stay up to date there as well. And lastly, I am an administrator of a Facebook support group called Exosomes Experiences. It's for patients only, so I'll put that in the video description box as well. Piper says, Whoa, Jake, you are saltier than usual today. Well, that's because, Piper, salt is the only thing I could put on my food that I can tolerate. Bye, Exosomes amigos and Bartonella buddies! ...situations in which... I've never heard of someone getting... No. Okay, calm down. Oh, I'm getting really excited about the Birkin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I'm a shoe girl.